the penultimate friendly before the European game kicks off in a week or so's time. How happy were you today with the performance against Tramway Rovers? Yeah, I thought it was very good. I thought we looked sharp. I thought we looked very fit. Um, they all knew their roles, which is important. You're playing against a different formation. You're playing against um, a different sort of, um, obviously a league side. They've got lots of experience. Players that are used to playing in the football league. So it's players that they're not used to come up against, which is always good as well because you know different formations and how they play gives the gives the players something to to look at. You know problems to solve, um, and usually they're much more much more physical than us. I told them that obviously we'd be a bit fitter because they've only been in three weeks. I said they'd be more physical, but I said we'd have a lot more of the ball because we're technically better. That's my opinion. And today we must have had about 70, 75 percent possession. So I think it was very good. Don't get me wrong, they're only three weeks in, so they're working at things. But because of the, um, you know, the, the time of season we're in, and we're only a week away from our game, I thought we were, we were excellent. And as the clock ticks down towards that game, would your starting lineup today be an indication of where you want to go next Thursday, or is it still very much up for grabs? Yeah, it is still up for grabs. There's a, there's a few positions we're looking at um, that, that someone hasn't cemented, or someone that might have played today thinking oh okay you can do that role so you've seen that when we made changes today it didn't make us any weaker than the, the starting lineup you know so that's that's what fills me with confidence the most that players that we've got we either brought in or that are understanding the role and they look very they look very accomplished and they look in a in a good state of mind you can, you can see the togetherness there today on the pitch you can see them talking and understanding their roles which which is brilliant and with games already played against Wolverhampton Wanderers, under-23s and Tramway Rovers, that is an indication of how highly the new Saints is thought of by those clubs. Yeah, we, we get calls from, from teams to, to play them at last minute. You know, we had the um, Scottish Premier side a couple of weeks ago asking would we play um, on, on the Friday or the Saturday. And we were like, yeah, but I think we just missed out by about 10 minutes because the other team played. So other teams think of us and they know that we're in the Europa League and they know that we'll be playing the right way. You know, we'll get the ball down, we'll play properly, we're a fit team, we're organised and it just goes to show that hopefully we're, we're doing the right things. And with one more friendly to come, that's actually one that you in particular will be looking forward to very much. Yeah, um, we've, we've been up there a few times now playing the 23s, love going up there. I remember the first time probably about eight or nine years ago when I took a, uh, a youth team up there or a, um, you know, a 16s and then even before that we played under 8s, 9s, 10s up there. You know, don't get me wrong, Liverpool are, are there, um, but when you got there, it, it does make you, um, you know, realise how, how good they've got it, and the conditions, the, the setup, the everything that's done for them. And our players relish playing against teams like that because so they, you know, they, they aspire to be there. They're obviously fans of the football club, and it's it's excellent for us to be, you know, be allowed to, to go and play games with them because you know, it's it's a good game for them as well because we, we always do quite well against them. And as well as those type of games which we've already referred to, we've also played Ballatown and Barrytown United as well. Come the start of the JD Cymru Premier, those will be the sides that ultimately we'll be pitting ourselves against. Yeah, and always tough games against them. We, we like to play them because, yes, we know how they play and yes, we know the sort of style, but we know that those boys give everything against us, make it difficult, and rightly so. Um, always good friendly. So if you look back at our friendlies and how we've performed, I think we've done very well. I think we've had that extra bit of time now, six, seven weeks, probably a bit longer than we usually have, which has probably helped us really. And we probably could have come back in a week or two earlier if the government would have allowed um, us, us to play. But obviously we've had to, we've had to look after ourselves in terms of the, the COVID and, and everything else. And uh, it, it's, it's nice to see the players' hunger, desire, and, and you know attitude to apply themselves in, in, in doing the work as well. Because from day one we've had the balls out, but they have, they have been working hard as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm pleased, but it's obviously a, a week to go, um, a week Thursday where you know, the, the, important, the important stuff starts. You can, you can take all of what we've done in pre-season. Yes, I'm very happy, but if someone makes a mistake, if someone gives a sloppy foul away that leads to a goal, then and put us out the competition, that's, that's where we've got to be focused and I'm, I'm pleased that we're, we're heading in the right direction.